Hello. This is part seven of a series of videos in which I explain some of the techniques behind my animations. In the previous videos in this series, we looked at different types of curves, such as epicycloids and hypocycloids. In this video, we will look at making patterns by drawing multiple copies of a curve. Let's start with a single curve. This is a hypocycloid curve with a ratio of 10 to 3. Notice that it has 10 lobes and the small circle rolls three times around the large circle to create the curve. We will use this particular curve to create patterns. But you can of course make patterns from any curve at all. One type of pattern is created by drawing multiple copies of a curve and moving each one to a different place on the screen. The mathematical term for moving an object from one place to another is a translation. Here we translate six copies of the curve along the spokes of an imaginary wheel to create a radial pattern. A different set of translations creates a grid pattern like this. We do not always want to draw identical copies of a curve. It can be interesting to change or transform the copies in some way. For example, we can draw copies of a curve with different sizes or scales. In this example, there are four copies of the curve drawn in different colors at scales that are between one and two and a half times the size of the original curve. We can apply different transformations to a curve at the same time. Here we see a pattern created by making seven copies of the original curve and translating, rotating and scaling each one by different amounts to create a spiral pattern. Putting this all together, we can create very complex and interesting patterns starting from a single curve. In this pattern, six copies of the original curve are drawn with different colours and move around in a kaleidoscope pattern. We are also changing the pen position on each curve as we go, so that we get a pattern of curves with different sizes and shapes. 